This call is now being recorded. Hi everyone. So today uh, we uh, this is science from one. Eh? We go to four point two, eh? chapter four. Four point two is about human reproductive system. So let me show you this one. Eh? Today we learn about identify the structures and function of the male and female reproductive systems and communicate about the physical change that occur during puberty. And then the third, compare and contrast the male gamete with the female gamete in the reproductive system. Okay, so uh, we start. Humans, eh, manusia, reproduce sexually. The human reproductive system consists of the male and female eh, reproductive system. Eh. So human sexually, eh, remember, we have two types. First, sexually. Uh, second is uh, asexually. Eh. Okay. What are the organs involved in both systems? Eh, we will look uh, about this eh, later. Okay, so both the male and female reproductive systems are very important. Married couples, eh, pasangan yang telah berkahwin, eh, cannot produce offsprings. Offspring ni anak. Eh. If any of their reproductive systems malfunctions, eh, tidak berfungsi. Eh. Jadi, jika pasangan yang berkahwin tak boleh dapat anak jika organ peranakan mereka ada masalah. Eh. Okay. Let us study the structure of the male and female reproductive system. So, after this, <coughs> we look on, <coughs> sorry, now we look on the male and then after that, we look on the female reproductive system. Eh. Okay, ready? So, this is male reproductive system, eh, lelaki. So, uh, this is the front view and this is the side view. Okay, this one, the big one, this one, uh, this is urinary bladder, eh, uh, pundi kencing, eh, pundi kencing. Okay, and then uh, this one, uh, the small one here is seminal vesicle eh, or in the side view is like this, eh, okay. And then prostate gland is this one, eh, prostate. Okay. And then sperm duct, eh, this is sperm duct. Urethra is this one, eh, this is urethra, eh, or like this, eh, this is urethra. Okay. And then scrotum, eh, scrotum is this one, eh, the outside layer, eh, this is scrotum, eh, or like this, eh, this is scrotum. Okay. And then uh, like egg, eh, we have two eggs here, eh, like egg, this one, we call it as testis, eh, testis. Okay. And last, uh, this one, eh? this is penis. Eh? This is penis. Okay, we go to the function. Eh? So, seminal vesicle. Eh? Seminal vesicle to secrete the nutritional flu fluid from the sperm. Eh? Seminal vesicle, uh, this one. Eh? This is seminal vesicle. Eh? This one, to secrete fluids. Eh? And, uh, to secrete, uh, secrete uh, nutritional fluid for the sperm. Eh? Untuk sperm. Okay. Urethra, a channel to discharge sperms and urine from the body. Eh, urethra, laluan untuk keluar tu. Eh. Urethra, eh. this one. Eh, this is urethra. Okay. And then sperm duct, eh. transport sperm from the testis to the urethra inside the body. Eh. Sperm duct. Eh. From this one, eh. sperm duct eh. from this one, eh. from testis go inside the urethra. Eh. This is sperm duct okay penis eh, transfer sperm into the vagina eh, of the female during copulation so uh, penis in male vagina in female eh? okay scrotum holds and protects the testis testis eh, produce male gametes or we call as sperms and male sex hormones and the last prostate glands and eh, secret fluid which contains nutrients and protect sperm cell. Okay, next we go on female. So this is female reproductive system. Eh? So this is front view and this is side view. Okay, so this one we call as fallopian tube. Eh? This is fallopian tube. Okay, uh, fallopian tube for what? Eh? You can see here, fallopian tube place where fertilization between sperm and ovum occurs. Eh? Okay. Next, uh, we have ovary. Eh? This is ovary. Eh? This one. Or like this. Eh? This is ovary. Eh? We have two. One, two. Eh? Ovary here. Okay. And then we have uterus. Eh? Uterus is this one. Eh? This is uterus. Okay. And then we have cervix. Eh? This is cervix. And last is vagina. Eh? Vagina. Eh? Because vagina. Eh? So, you see here, Philippine tube, we cover already. Ovary, what is the ovary? Eh? Uh, we have left and right, eh? ovary. 
produce female gamete eh, or worm and female sex hormones. Uterus, or we call it as a womb, eh, place where the embryo develops and grows. And in simple word, we can say uh, this one, eh, uterus, uh, for pregnant woman, uh, the baby is inside here. Eh? Baby, baby dalam ni. Eh? Okay. That one in the simple words. Lah. Okay. Cervix, eh, produce mucus to enable sperm eh, to swim into the uterus. Okay. And last, vagina, receives sperm and as a channel through which a baby is born. Eh? So, on baby lahir eh, on also through vagina eh, also through eh, from this one uh, from uterus baby uh, born through vagina here eh, from uterus through vagina okay next eh, we go to physical change that occur during puberty eh? so maybe you also will um, happen to you eh, this thing okay so what is puberty? Eh? Puberty is the early stage of the maturity eh, of the reproductive systems. Adolescents who have reached puberty will experience growth and change emotionally, physically, and physiologically. Eh? Okay. So look at this photo. Eh? Okay, this boy eh, said, look at this photo. Tengok gambar ni. Eh? You have changed so much. And I wonder how I will look when I grow up. So, this man said, we will see when you reach puberty. You will look different too. And you will be experiencing change in your body during puberty. Okay. So, next. Eh? So, there are differences eh, between male and female, boys and girls. Eh? Okay. So, boys reach puberty at approximately 14 to 17 years old, eh, boys. Okay. Meanwhile, for girls, reach puberty earlier than boys, eh, perempuan lebih awal, eh, which is about uh, 10 to 12 years old. Eh. So, uh, in simple word, I think girls in this one before class, almost all of you, reach puberty already. Eh. Male, maybe, uh, boy, maybe not yet. Eh. Okay. So, what are the changes that occur to boys and girls when they reach puberty? Eh. Okay. So, male. In boys, eh, in boys. Okay, first voice, eh, suara. So, vocal cord larynx enlarge, eh, this one. Eh, vocal cord larynx enlarge. And then, voice becomes deeper. Eh, suara jadi lebih besar atau garau. Eh. Okay. And then, how about the body of the boy? Eh, mustache, eh, misai, and beard, eh, beard eh, uh, janggut, jambang, eh, begin to grow. And then, hair grows on the face, eh, face, armpits, and chest eh hair tu bulu eh bulu pada uh, muka ni eh ketiak chest eh badan dan juga tempat lain juga eh okay next uh, female eh untuk perempuan girls eh okay body breast eh breast glow the grow eh grow okay and then hips eh hips become firm and broader okay and then hair grows on the armpits eh okay so, here, reproductive uh, system eh, in male, eh, in male, okay. Testes produce sperms eh, and sex hormones. Hair grows at pubic region. Eh. And then, penis and scrotum enlarge, eh, membesar. Okay. For female, ovaries produce ova and sex hormones. Eh. And then, hair grows at pubic region. And then menstrual cycle, eh, menstrual cycle begins, eh, this one for girls. Okay. Next, eh, comparison between the male and female gametes. Eh. You have learned from the pre previous subtopic eh, that sperm is a male gamete eh, or male reproductive cell, while ovum is the female gamete or female reproductive cell. Eh. Sperm is the smallest cell in the male's body and its shape is like a tadpole. Eh? This one, eh? like a tadpole. Okay. Ovum is the largest cell in the female's body. Figure 4.12 shows the structures of sperm and ovum. Eh? These figures. Okay. So this is sperm and this is ovum. Eh? In sperm, we have uh, this one we call as 
head and in the head we have a nucleus yeah, this one this is the middle piece and this is tail yeah. okay four of them we have gel layer this one the outer layer yeah. okay and then inside here we have nucleus between the gel layer and nuclear we have cytoplasm yeah. this one uh, sorry yeah. this is sorry this is nucleus and yeah. this one and this is cytoplasm so between cytoplasm and gel layer we have a cell membrane here yeah. this is cell membrane Okay, uh, so uh, this is the real life picture, right? Eh? Under microscope. Eh? Okay, interesting. Eh? Okay, next. So the head of a sperm eh, contains nucleus that carries genetic and hereditary information to be transferred to the offspring. The tail enables the sperm to move or swim in the semen inside the vagina uterus and fallopian tube of the female reproductive system the normal number of sperms released is 60 million per cubic centimeter ovum is spherical in shape with a diameter of about 0 0.1 mm eh, millimeter the nucleus contains genetic and hereditary information to be transferred to the offspring the ovum is not able to move by itself a normal woman usually produces one ovum per month. Figure 4.13 shows the comparison between sperm and ovum. This one. Eh? Okay, let me make it smaller. Okay, so uh, the <coughs> same ca characteristic eh, between sperm and ovum, there are two. First, carries genetic information and then uh sexual reproductive cell eh? both of them are sexual reproductive cell so this is the same characteristic for sperm and also ovum okay for sperm eh, this is the characteristic, uh, characteristic other than these two eh? different compared to ovum eh? first sperm able to move but ovum not able to move eh? sperm produced by testes but ovum produced by ovary eh? sperm in male ovum in female eh? okay so sperm is male gamete ovum is female gamete and last sperm is the smallest cell in the male's body eh? paling kecil eh? smaller cell while ovum is the largest cell in the female's body okay and last we read this one eh? ovum eh? ovum can live up to two days after being released from the ovary while sperms can live up to to three or four days eh? ovum up to two days eh? uh, <coughs> sperms up to three to four days eh? okay. okay so that's all for today yeah. so we have covered already 4.2 about human reproductive systems eh? okay